tangy, spicy, and sweet, it's my take on the classic. We're making tamarind jerk chicken. Having grown up in Toronto, I've had a lot of great jerk in my life. It's such a great dish, especially when you're grilling outdoors. But I thought, how do I put my own spin on it? And this may be a little controversial, but I just thought that the combination of sticky, sweet, tart tamarind would pair so well with jerk, and that is where we're going today. So speaking of tamarind, it is a sticky, sweet fruit that comes from Southeast Asia that's used in so many different dishes, and this is what it looks like sometimes when you buy it at the grocery store. It also sometimes comes in pods, and the key here is to release as much of that pulp as possible and remove it from its fiber. So I'm going to put a few pieces of tamarind in a bowl, top it off with a little bit of hot water, and we're gonna let it sit there for about 10 minutes to soften up. Then I'm gonna mix it together with my hands, massaging it to release as much of the pulp as possible, and then just squish it all out, retaining that tamarind pulp and juice. Now every good jerk needs a little bit of heat and I have these guys here, scotch bonnet chilies. You can also use habanero chilies and the reason why they're so iconic and so delicious is that they do pack a bit of heat but they're also really, really fruity in flavor. So we're gonna build our marinade in a blender because it's so easy to whip up. I'm gonna start by pouring in my tamarind paste. I'm going to pop in those scotch bonnet peppers. I have a small onion that I've coarsely chopped up. I'm going to cut some green onions into large chunks. Those are going in as well. Thyme is such an iconic flavor in jerk marinade. I'm gonna strip the leaves off their stems. We're also going in with a few cloves of garlic, some thinly sliced ginger. I'm adding allspice, a little bit of cinnamon, and some nutmeg. Now to round out the marinade, we're adding soy sauce, one chicken bouillon cube, a little brown sugar for sweetness, some canola oil, black pepper, and salt. We're gonna put the lid on and then pulse this marinade until it's well blended. So let's talk chicken. I'm here to say that jerk does not discriminate. So use whatever cut of chicken that you want. If you happen to love white meat, go ahead with chicken breast. But personally, I love using dark meat because it's so much juicier, it has so much more flavor, and it grills up like a dream. So I have some chicken legs here with a thigh and drumstick attached. I'm just gonna add those to a resealable plastic bag, and we're gonna pour over half of our marinade. Now we're gonna massage the legs and allow them to marinate for a minimum of three hours to overnight for maximum flavor in the fridge. While our chicken is marinating, you are probably wondering, what are we doing with the rest of this marinade? And the reason why I love it is because it serves two purposes, the second one being a glaze. So I'm just gonna take the leftover marinade, pour it into a pan, and cook it on medium heat until it reduces by about half. At this point, it'll be glossy and sticky and perfect to glaze the chicken at the end. I wish you guys could smell this glaze. It smells so, so good, especially with all of those ingredients blended together. I cannot wait to glaze our chicken. And speaking of our chicken, it has marinated, and now I'm gonna take you outside. We haven't been outside on this channel in so long. We're gonna hit the grill, come with me. I'm grilling on a charcoal grill today because I love the flavor. It pairs so well with jerk, but you could just as easily do this on a gas grill or an indoor grill at home. Now we're at about 350, 375 degrees. I've laid my chicken down and we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna cook them for about 30 to 35 minutes, flipping once or twice to get beautiful grill marks until it's cooked through to the middle. Then I'm gonna glaze with that leftover marinade and then we're gonna lift it off the grill, serve it up and look at it. Glorious tamarind jerk chicken. It's hot off the grill. I'm loving these grill marks. It looks nice and glossy. Let's grab a piece and give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. This is like jerk chicken to the power of 10. So good. This jerk chicken is the perfect balance between sweet, spicy, and tangy. You really taste that tamarind coming through with fruity, tart notes, and it pairs so well with all of those other aromatic ingredients and that little bit of brown sugar for sweetness. 
Now, if you're trying to switch up your jerk chicken game, be sure to try this one out. And when you do, please share it with your Jamaican friends and let me know what they think.